So in this video I will bring you 5 tips for when you are playing the arms race mode, the new mode exclusive to DLC 5, the designers cut. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So today I bring you 5 tips to be aware of when playing this new game mode. I've already made a top 10 video of things you should be aware of before jumping in but this one's slightly different. Ok so let's get into it. So firstly you need to make the most of your weapons and definitely don't disregard any due to rarity. This is fine outside of this mode but I mean this when I say it, even the most common of weapons here can make the biggest of differences for sure. And dare I say it, weapon rarity actually don't matter down here, anointments don't matter down here, not really because as you know your skill tree is disabled, your gear is disabled. The only thing that's enabled is what you pick up within this game mode. And I saw myself many a times when fighting a boss of arms race, going back to a common weapon, a weapon I wouldn't even double look at outside of this mode, and that being a weapon that helps me complete this mode. So yes, weapon rarities definitely matter, so don't disregard any. Also collecting money is very important people as vending machines do also offer real good loot as well as giving you the opportunity to regen health and ammo and it can get a little sticky down here. I mean sometimes my playthroughs have gone smooth but other times I've lacked ammo, I've lacked health and so much more because this game is random, this mode is random. You don't know what you're going to loot, you don't know what you're going to find. But yes money is definitely one thing you should be collecting because your money outside of this place cannot be spent in here. Ok so moving on and if there was one thing I would suggest keeping an eye out for is, is nothing other than the snowdrift artifact, any snowdrift artifact for that matter. This in my opinion is the literal number one item you can get within this game mode, not for extraction purposes but to use it within here. Cause this I won't lie, the few times I have found it, it's made this mode so much easier and better in terms of obviously moving around much much quicker. This allows you to escape the murder cane easier get to loot stashes quicker and supply drops faster and even escape damage and much more for that matter. Now it doesn't matter what rarity it is, you ain't in this mode forever. Loot's important no matter the rarity as I said. You could find the best epic or legendary artifact which gives you so and so extra damage. I'd take a common snowdrift over it every day of the week while in this arms race mode. Now any snowdrift artifact is obviously as rare as any other piece of loot in this mode but if you do come across one definitely apply it. And although like I said nothing is guaranteed, if you see an artifact upon a chest do indeed check it no matter the colour aura pinging off it. Ok so moving on and don't just jump into this mode and jump straight into that boss fight as there's much more to be gained from actually playing the mode properly. I mean yes you can jump straight into that boss fight if you want to but within my finding it's much more beneficial and much more efficient in actually using the map, travelling to loot caches and supply drops and gaining those new legendaries. This is way more effective than just jumping straight into that boss fight, I mean the boss can sometimes be generous but like every other boss in this game there are plenty of times when it will drop you nothing. Difference is this boss you can't one shot with your crazy builds because like I said they are disabled here. So definitely use the map, pull it up, look for those loot caches, those supply drops and make the most of them. And also while on the subject of making the most of things, the extractor machines. These are seriously limited, to a point of I believe only the boss one has 5 you can extract at once. Every other one around the map I found only allows you to extract 3 tops. So if you run around collecting plenty of new legendaries and have 6 or 7 and don't have time to run to all the extraction points and can only get to 1, there's a good chance you're going to lose some of those legendaries. So use these extraction points properly because if you die without extracting said loot, it is gone for good. And I mean the worst thing I did was, I did that very thing, I looted 4 loot caches, got like 5 legendaries, all of them were brand new, only had time to get to 1 extraction point, extracted 3, ran to the boss, got killed, lost everything. So it can happen people and like I said and I can't say this enough, you do not have a build to protect you, you only have what you find. So yeah guys those are my 5 tips for arms race and on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more BR3 be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.